Greetings, it's Vagram, back again with another episode of Hot Blocks. Here I am in my Hot Blocks world, kind of, I don't know, contemplating. I have this nice little building that I built dedicated to our Hot Block for today, and before I actually introduce that, I'd like to go over something. First of all, I try not to judge. I understand that Different people have different play styles of Minecraft, and I try to accept that completely and totally. And everyone else should also. There is no right way to play Minecraft. Different people do it in different ways. Some folks are pure, logical thinkers trying to make the next analytical machine. Others are artists and sculptors and architects. While some more are adventurers. Nay, Indiana Jones, looking for their next temple to raid. Well, it's different strokes for different folks, as the saying goes. And nobody should judge what other Minecrafters do and how they play the game. And I'm really hoping that you, my viewers, are a part of that group also. Now, what we're looking at here is a small gallery of trophies. Now, these are for open blocks. I think they're clever and cute. But they represent bad guys. Now, I am currently, and I'll show you, on peaceful mode. Because this is basically a creative map. I don't need monster spawns mucking about with me. But some people like to play Minecraft normally. They like to adventure on peaceful mode. They like to adventure in peaceful mode. And that is perfectly acceptable. That is fine. If that is what is entertaining and intellectually stimulating to them, then they should pursue that. But they're limited inherently because they never see this rogue gallery while they play. They don't have access to blaze rod because blazes don't spawn. They don't have access to bones because they never see skeletons. They never have access to string because of spiders. Little things become hurdles very quickly. No gunpowder. No slime balls, which means no sticky pistons. No healing potions to heal fire or fall damage. Because no ghasts. So this is why I really do consider this option to be a hot block. The Peaceful Table is from Extra Utilities by R.W. Tema. And R.W. Tema has put some amazing things into Extra Utilities. Things that cater to so many different play styles and so many different types of players and I really do respect RW Tema for that. I think it's a great move. The peaceful table works specifically with the intent of allowing a peaceful player to be able to still have access to mob drops and I think that's a good thing. Basically what you do is you make a peaceful table and we can look at I think the recipe no recipe found. Awesome. Minor hiccup. Hang on just a second. Peaceful. Peaceful table. Right there. You have four emeralds, a diamond in the middle, and four wooden planks. It is not exorbitantly prohibitive, but it definitely requires some resources dedicated to it. What you do is you make the table and you put it somewhere with a wooden chest next to it and a sword. And what happens is, as you've been watching, a monster will spawn at random and get killed. Now, here's how this works. The table actually takes into account the number of hits it would take this sword to actually damage the monster. So, that means that if it is a skeleton, it'll only take a couple of points of damage on the sword. But if it is something bigger and nastier, say, an Enderman or maybe a Ghast, it will take much, much more damage to the actual... Actually, Ghasts only take one hit. But still, you get the point. If it's a slime, more damage. So, the sword will take damage, and it will need to be repaired. And eventually, in theory, replaced if you use it long enough. The table also only spawns, spawns monsters that are relevant to this biome and this area, which means if you put a block over the middle of the ocean, you probably, I don't know, you might not get a lot of monster spawns. You may. But if you take it to the nether, you'll get things like 
zombie pigmen and wither skeletons and ghasts, things of that nature. Um, I'm not sure if this actually takes into account monsters that are spawned from other mobs, but I have a sneaking suspicion that this only works with vanilla Minecraft mobs. Now you see we're getting spiders because we're getting string. We're getting bones, air, arrows, rotten flesh, gunpowder. Aha! Zombie brains from Thomcraft. So some drops from normal monsters do work. That answers that question right there. You're also getting slime balls. So this is very, very cool. This one table allows peaceful players to be able to actually still pursue the style of Minecraft they want to pursue, and they should have the right to pursue, but they can actually play it while still not being hindered by the lack of drops that certain monsters give. You don't have to cheat in supplies anymore. You can still go through a survival game in peaceful mode and still have challenges to face. You still need to set up one of these tables in the nether, go back and visit occasionally to see how many blaze rods have you gotten. Now, this table does not work in other game modes. So if you're on easy, medium, or hard, or hardcore, I guess, then this table will effectively do nothing. It only works on peaceful, so it cannot be exploited in normal game modes. But I really do think it is a massive boon for the peaceful player. So I want everybody to remember that not every other Minecraft player has the same play style that you do. Not every single Minecraft player is going to be a hard mode player, or they may not be a uh, even a medium. They might like easy or peaceful. Uh, some players might prefer leaving on magnet mode and any eye because they don't like losing their drops. Others might prefer to keep inventory on or turn mob damage off. It is not our position to judge. It is our position to embrace the diversity and make sure everyone's having fun. Thanks for watching. I await your comments and your suggestions. And as always, I, I appreciate your time in watching this video. This is Vagram, signing off. Bye-bye.